Dear students, now we are going to derive the field equations of the electromagnetic waves between parallel plates. For that we can consider an electromagnetic wave propagating between two parallel perfectly conducting planes of infinite extent in this y direction. Here the wave is propagating in the z direction. So here the planes are placed in the x-axis with the boundary x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a. So now we are going to derive the field components of the electromagnetic waves between the parallel planes. For that we can use the Maxwell's equation. So in order to find out the field components of the electromagnetic waves, the Maxwell's equations are used with its boundary conditions. So here we can take the first equation that is Maxwell's first equation is del cross h vector is equal to sigma e vector plus epsilon dou e vector by dou t. Okay, here this error mark represents the vector quantity. This equation can also be written like this del cross h vector is equal to sigma e vector plus j omega epsilon e vector. Consider this as the Maxwell's first equation. So now we are going to find out the wave equation between the parallel planes. As we all know that between two conducting planes, the region is a non-conducting medium in order to avoid unwanted radiation or losses. Do you all understand that? So the wave is propagating between the parallel planes and then this region is a non-conducting medium that means sigma is equal to 0. Then this equation can be written like this. Del cross H vector is equal to J omega epsilon E vector. We can consider this equation, okay? In the next step, we are going to use the rectangular coordinates to expand this curl operation and this E vector, okay? For rectangular coordinate system, this curl operation is given as del cross H vector is equal to x bar, y bar, z bar, dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z, hx, hy and hz. That is equal to, the right hand side can be written like this, j omega epsilon into e vector can be written like this, ex, x bar, ey, y bar plus e z, z bar. So here, this x, y and z, this three are representing the directional coefficients, okay? Then we can solve this curl operation. We can get the value as x bar into dou hz by dou y minus dou hy by dou ez. For the second one, we can use the minus y bar into dou hz by dou x minus dou hx by dou ez plus z bar into dou hy by dou x minus dou hx by dou y. That is equal to j omega epsilon e x x bar plus e y e y bar plus e z z bar. Then we are going to equate the coefficients of x bar, y bar and z bar on both the sides. Then we can get the equations like this. Dou h z by dou y minus dou h y by dou e z is equal to j omega epsilon e x. Then we can get the y coordinates like this. Here we have to take this minus sign as well. So we have to multiply this minus sign inside this. We can get minus dou hz by dou x plus dou hx by dou ez. So we can write the value as dou hx by dou ez minus dou hz by dou x is equal to j omega epsilon ey. That is the y coordinates. Okay. Similarly, the ez coordinates are dou hy by dou x minus dou hx by dou y is equal to j omega epsilon e z. Consider this 3 as a equation 1. Okay. So next we are going to use the Maxwell second equation. Here the Maxwell second equation is del cross e vector is equal to minus j omega mu h vector. Here we can use the curl operation then del cross e vector can be written like this x bar y bar z bar dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z ex ey ez that is equal to minus j omega mu h vector can be written like this hx x bar plus hy y bar plus hz z bar 
then we can get the value like this x bar dou e z by dou y minus dou e y by dou e z minus y bar dou e z by dou x minus dou e x by dou e z plus z bar dou e y by dou x minus dou e x by dou y that is equal to minus j omega mu into h x x bar plus h y y bar plus h z z bar. So the same way we can equate the coefficients of x, y and z on both the sides. We can get the values like this. Dou e z by dou y minus dou e y by dou e z is equal to minus j omega mu h x. The same way for the second y term we can multiply this minus inside. Then we can get plus dou e x by dou e z minus dou e z by dou e x is equal to minus j omega mu h y. Then the z component is dou e y by dou e x minus dou e x by dou y is equal to minus j omega mu h z. Consider these three equations as a second equation. Okay. So here the wave is propagating in the z direction. That means the variation of the hz component and ez component in the z direction becomes zero. That is dou hz by dou ez, dou ez by dou ez, both are equal to zero. Okay, if it is propagating in the z direction. Since the parallel planes extend infinitely in the y direction. If it is infinite in the y direction, there is no variation of the field components along the direction. That means there is no boundary, it is infinite. Then the fields are assumed to be uniform and constant in that y direction. Okay. If it is a constant one, the derivative of the constant becomes zero. Therefore, the derivative of any components with respect to y becomes zero. Dou e x by dou y is equal to dou e z by dou y is equal to dou h z by dou y is equal to dou h z by dou y is equal to zero. We are going to substitute these values in the equations 1 and 2. So wherever the y derivative is available, those can become 0. Okay. Then the equations 1 become minus dou h y by dou e z is equal to j omega epsilon e x. Consider this as the third equation. The next one is dou h x by dou e z minus dou h z by dou e x. That is equal to j omega epsilon e y. There is no change in this equation, but we can consider this as the fourth equation. The next one is dou h y by dou x is equal to j omega epsilon e z. So this is the fifth equation. The same way we can convert the second equations like this. So here it is minus dou e y by dou e z is equal to minus j omega mu h x. This is the sixth equation. The next one is same as that of the Second equation, we can keep this as the seventh equation. Then the last one is dou e y by dou x is equal to minus j omega mu h z. This is the eighth equation. So these equations are very, very important. From this, we are going to derive the field equations. Okay. So for further simplification, we have to consider the wave propagating in the z direction. If the wave is propagating in the z direction, then the amplitude of the field components are decreased by the propagation constant factor. If the wave is traveling from one place to another place during the propagation, there may be some loss that is known as propagation loss. So here the amplitude of the field components are decreased by the factor e power minus gamma e z. So here e x can be represented as e x not that is the amplitude value multiplied with e power minus gamma e z. Then we have to take the partial differentiation with respect to e z direction. Then we can get e x naught multiplied with this minus gamma e power minus gamma e z. As we all know that the differentiation of this e power minus gamma e z is equal to what? Minus gamma e power minus gamma e z. That's what given here. Okay. Then we can write minus gamma e x naught e power minus gamma e z is nothing but e x. Correct? Then we can say dou e x by dou e z is equal to minus gamma e x. Similarly, dou e y by dou e z is equal to minus gamma e y. Dou h x by dou e z is equal to minus gamma h x. 
do hy by do z is equal to minus gamma hy now we are going to substitute all this values in this 3 to 8 equations so wherever the z derivation is there okay so here it is the z derivation here we can replace this do hy by do z as minus gamma hy similarly do hx by do z is replaced with the value minus gamma hx then here it is minus gamma ey the same way wherever the z derivative is there that can be replaced with this values do you all understand this one then the third equation becomes minus into minus gamma hy is equal to j omega epsilon ex minus into minus plus so gamma hy is equal to j omega epsilon ex this is the ninth equation Similarly, from fourth equation, minus gamma hx minus do hz by do x is equal to j omega epsilon ey. Then we can multiply with a minus sign on both sides. We can get gamma hx plus do hz by do x is equal to minus j omega epsilon ey. Correct? So this is the tenth equation. Then the fifth equation becomes do hy by do x is equal to j omega epsilon ez. There is no change but we can consider that as the 11th equation. Then the sixth equation here we can replace do ey by do ez as minus gamma ey. Minus into minus plus. So gamma ey is equal to minus j omega mu hx. This is the 12th equation. Then the seventh equation becomes minus gamma ex minus dou ez by dou x is equal to minus j omega mu hy then we can simplify this term as gamma ex plus dou ez by dou x is equal to j omega mu hy we can cancel all the minus sign here this is the 13th equation then the last one is 8th equation there is no change dou ey by dou x is equal to minus j omega mu hz we can consider this as the 14th equation. Okay. So this is very very important part over here. From this equations we are going to find out the field components of electromagnetic waves between parallel planes. That means EX, HX, EY, HY components in terms of EZ and HZ values. Okay. First, we are going to find out EX, HY components by solving the equations 9th and 13th. So, from this 9th equation, gamma HY is equal to J omega epsilon EX. Then we can get the value HY as J omega epsilon by gamma EX. Then we have to substitute this value in the 13th equation. What is 13th equation? Gamma EX plus do EZ by do X is equal to J omega mu HY. So here this HY is replaced with the value J omega epsilon by gamma EX. Then we can multiply this values here. J squared omega squared mu epsilon by gamma into EX. What is the value of this J squared? Its value is minus 1. Then this term can be written like this. Gamma EX plus do EZ by do X is equal to minus omega squared mu epsilon EX by gamma. Then we can move all the EX terms to this left hand side. Then this minus becomes plus. So gamma EX plus omega squared mu epsilon by gamma EX is equal to this term is moving to this right hand side with a minus sign minus do EZ by do X. Then we can take this EX as a common term here. EX into gamma plus omega squared mu epsilon by gamma is equal to minus dou EZ by dou X. Then we can take this gamma as a common one in the denominator. Then this term becomes gamma squared plus omega squared mu epsilon by gamma. For further simplification, we can consider this gamma squared plus omega squared mu epsilon as H squared. So this value is important one. From this we can find out the characteristics. Okay. So here h squared is equal to gamma squared plus omega squared mu epsilon. Then this can be written like this. Ex into h squared by gamma is equal to minus dou ez by dou x. Then we can find out ex value by moving this value to this right hand side. So here we can get ex is equal to what? Minus gamma by h squared dou ez by dou x. Consider this is the a equation. 
so this is the field component of ex okay it is the first field component of this electromagnetic waves between parallel planes in the next step we are going to substitute this ex value in this hy term okay so in this hy this ex value is replaced with this field component then we can get hy is equal to j omega epsilon by gamma into ex is replaced with this term minus gamma by h square dou e z by dou x then this gamma gamma cancel then we can get the hy component as minus j omega epsilon by h square dou e z by dou x so now this hy component in terms of e z okay so next we are going to find out ey and hx components by solving 10th and 12th equations the same way we can take this 12th equation gamma ey is equal to minus j omega mu hx then ey is equal to what minus j omega mu by gamma hx we are going to substitute this value in the 10th equation from 10th equation gamma hx plus dou hz by dou x is equal to minus j omega epsilon ey this ey is replaced with this value we can get minus j omega epsilon multiplied with minus j omega mu by gamma hx we can multiply inside this minus into minus plus j squared omega squared epsilon mu by gamma hx what is j squared minus so minus omega squared mu epsilon by gamma into hx okay then we have to move all the hx terms to this left hand side so gamma hx plus omega squared mu epsilon by gamma hx is equal to this term becomes minus in the right hand side correct then we can take this hx as a common term over here then gamma plus omega squared mu epsilon by gamma that term can be written like this gamma squared plus omega squared mu epsilon by gamma as we all know that gamma squared plus omega squared mu epsilon is nothing but h squared right then this term can be written like this hx into h squared by gamma is equal to minus dou hz by dou x we can move this term to this right hand side as a reciprocal then we can get the hx component as minus gamma by h squared dou hz by dou x so here hx component in terms of hz okay consider this as the equation c so next step we have to substitute this hx component in this equation ey so this hx is replaced with this value then we can get this ey is equal to minus j omega mu by gamma minus gamma by h square dou hz by dou x then we can simplify this term minus into minus plus then the ey value as j omega mu by h square dou hz by dou x consider this as the equation d finally the field components of the electromagnetic waves between parallel planes are derived as ex is equal to minus gamma by h square dou e z by dou x hx is equal to minus gamma by h square dou h z by dou x ey is equal to j omega mu by h square dou h z by dou x and then hy is equal to minus j omega h square dou e z by dou x so this are the field components of parallel planes okay